<clears throat> Good morning, Thomas. How are you? Thanks, I'm fine. Hey, can I just start off with uh, an, the injury latest? What's the what's the physio bench looking like at the moment? No news, which may be good news, but uh, Trevor will be out, Ben Chilwell will be out, Reese James out. Uh, that's from the injuries, and do we? Yeah. And we have one uh, one positive uh, COVID test with Andreas Christensen, so out for the game. I'm going to throw a lot of names at you here, so apologies in advance. No problem. But in terms of players out on loan at the moment, Kennedy is back. Yeah. Palmieri's not back yet. No. Will there be any need to recall Gilmore, Gallagher, Broca? And in terms of going out on loan, is there any possibility maybe that Ruben Loftus Cheek goes on loan to get more game time? I haven't talked about it. He has a lot of game time, I would say, if we look at the last years and look at this season. I think he is. Uh, he has a lot of game time, and he has uh, a lot to fight for here. When we talk about Ruben and my personal opinion, but anyway, uh, this will happen behind closed doors. When we have something to announce, we will announce uh, about bringing players back. It's not only about the need to bring players back, but also about the possibility. We sent them on loan to have a full season. We sent them on loan to have a full year. They have a certain role in their clubs, so it's not only about like bring them back and, and um, we don't have the possibility also to, to decide it all alone if we bring players back. And uh, Kennedy is back and I'm very happy about it. So it's maybe, in my it is a huge, huge opportunity for him to uh, make his mark at this club and in this team. Uh, we will try... Uh, now from, from today on to, to push and support him as good as we can. Is there a need this month to still bring in players, especially at wing back, or is Kennedy that cover now? No, we, we cannot say that, that Kennedy is the solution. He can be a solution, but the uh, situation has not changed. We have long term injuries on the wing backs and we suffer a lot on the on the now we suffered a lot in midfield from, from COVID and injuries now that our midfielders are more or less like coming back uh, we suffer a lot with our central defenders um, yeah nothing has changed but but it, it needs to make sense it needs to be possible it needs to make sense on a high level and also in like in, in in quality personality we 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 have a look into the market nothing has changed and we have all options also the option to say no in terms of tomorrow's game Manchester City are just relentless, they just keep on winning. It's hard to see where they're going to drop points. If you lose tomorrow, are your title chances gone? Maybe, maybe, who knows. Uh, the biggest difference so far in the season, as I'm concerned, is uh, that they dealt better with injuries and they dealt better with the COVID situation. Maybe it's unlucky, maybe they do it better, whatever, but they have, uh, they have less injuries from, 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 from key players, uh, less days out, less, less weeks where they, where they miss them. They, were, they did not suffer from, from, from COVID as we did over, over many weeks. So this is the huge difference because uh, we had some draws in the season that were unnecessary. And, and if you have your full squad, you create a certain uh, um, atmosphere for, for everybody. That, that, that pushes everybody to, to the edge and you need to be on your edge and in your very highest level if you want to compete with Man City. They are the benchmark, they are the, the, the best team in England right now. Um, this is something we have to admit realistically. Um, we, don't, we, don't, we don't think a lot in scenarios what happens if um, let's play the game. I'm always in for a good fight but I'm also always uh, very realistic. If you look back and then to our last games, when we have our squad, when we feel good, when we are in good shape, we, we are always up for, 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 for a good fight with Man City and we will always dare to, to push them to the limit and to ask some questions that they don't like uh, maybe to answer. Uh, but the situation at the moment is that, as you said, they are very strong, they are very consistent and uh, they perform on, on, the, on the absolute highest level. So this is it. Last one here. Here yeah, yeah. just one final question from me, Thomas. A, a more general question. Uh, Leicester had a game postponed this week, primarily through injuries and players being at AFCON. 
There's talk potentially of Arsenal trying to get the North London derby postponed, primarily because of injuries and players at AFCON. Do you think that the rules are being abused or bent slightly at the moment? Because the rules are surely in place for, for COVID situations, not for injuries. That's just hard luck. I strongly, strongly hope that's not the case because otherwise I would be very, very angry because we are doing everything to make uh, games happen and we were made to play uh, when we thought we should maybe not. So I can only strongly hope that the rules are the same rules for everybody. Otherwise, John. yeah, point. John South from Firefly. Hi Thomas, how are you? Hi, fine. Good, good. Um, would you say Manchester City away is the toughest challenge at the moment in European football? And why? Yeah, maybe. They are the strongest team in, in UK. I think the, that we have the Premier League as the toughest league in, in Europe, the toughest competition and they are like on a level of consistency and quality and, and uh, producing results even when it's, when it's getting close, like, like in the game in, at Arsenal, for example, turning things around. Um, they are very, very strong. It's a, it's a very tough one, yeah. How much do you enjoy coming up against Pep? You, you've got the better of him on a number of occasions since you've been at Chelsea. But yeah. Is he still the benchmark for managers for what he's achieved in the game? Yeah, simple, simple. Uh, or short question, short answer, yes. For me, yes. Everybody can have his own opinion, but look at his records, his track records. Look what he did to all his teams in Barcelona, Munich and, and uh, Man City. Look what he did to the clubs and, uh, yeah. Can you learn from him still? Top. Every game, we, I try to learn from everybody, uh, from every opponent and from analyzing every opponent and uh, have a lot of uh, respect for, for, of course, for Pep. Everybody knows that, but for, for a lot of other coaches, uh, yeah, I learn from him. I learn from everybody. I learn from the game, from my players. This is uh, what I demand from myself. You said the main difference this season between the two clubs has been the injuries and COVID. So, do you think when you're you're both at full strength that you you've actually really closed that gap now? How much is there between the clubs? You know, they, 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 they opened the gap over, not over the last months, they opened the gap over the last years. Uh, and I, I was never shy to say this, and, um, and it, it's just my opinion. And, and we tried to close it, and we tried to close it. Uh, we were like self-confident enough to say we will try to close it from the first day this season. This is what we did, and we did very good. But um, don't get me wrong, I want to be very clear about it. I will be absolutely happy with the players who travel with us and who will be on the pitch tomorrow. And we will inject the most confidence that we can have. We will come up with a plan and we will, we will, we will push and help and, and support in, in, the, in, the, in the best way with, with genuine belief. But a team is a different team if everybody is available. It's as simple as that. If you have your 2019 player from 23, always and constantly available because you're always some injuries some minor injuries but if you have them this creates the energy the, the atmosphere and the, the extra edge that you need if you want to be on the level where Man City is and uh, we don't have it it's it's no excuse it's just a, a, a description and an explanation of the situation in which we find ourselves since the last weeks we will not stop. How tough does that make it tomorrow? Yeah, very tough, even tougher. But does it make it impossible? No, it's football. It's 90 minutes. So for 90 minutes, you can do anything, anything. You can be brave. You can play with courage. You need a bit of luck and you need a momentum. And, and, and we need one top level. No problem for tomorrow. But in general, it's like this. Good luck. Thanks. James Adventure Talk Sport. Hi, Thomas. What did you learn from the game against Man City at Stamford Bridge earlier this season? That my approach was was the wrong approach tactically. It made us uh, it made us too passive. Um, we could have done better, but I think uh, the, pro the approach was too passive and too too defensive. It was not meant like this, but it turned out this way. So lesson learned. We they were like uh, too aggressive for our build-up play. Uh, they were too aggressive. We did not have the solution to escape from their own half. Defi fine. We defended very well in the in the last. 18, 20 meters of the field, but we didn't see much of the of the other 70 meters. Second half was a bit better, it was a bit wild, 
but um, it's not the worst thing to have a wild match against against uh, against Manchester City and and uh, to break to to break out of the all the structure and and uh, all the controlled situations so second half was better and yeah lesson learned when it comes to Man City, you spoke about how they've opened up the gap over the last few years. Yeah. But do you see the gap between Man City and Chelsea being a significant one? Yeah, in the moment it's a significant one. If you look at the table and, and, and the points and the, and the consistency, it's a significant one. And we have to prove, like, we, we have to prove to prove ourselves that, 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 we, can, that we can step up and, 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 and close it day in, day out. Um, but we have trust in what we do and we have trust in our players and, and trust in, in, in the mentality of our club that we can do it. Um, we have a strong squad, we have a belief in what we do, so we will, we will be there, we will be there. But the situation is very particular um, in, in, in which we are trying to do it. Uh, as you know, talked many times about the reasons and, and without using this as an excuse it's just it describes the situation and it is an explanation and we cannot just look away from it we've got three wins in a row now the draw against liverpool at the start of the year do you feel like with a lot of players returning the form improving that, that you're nearing your your highest level yeah because with every yeah because with every player that we get back we get back uh, experience and alternatives and and belief and self confidence and um, we had good results and good performances in 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 the last games but we are not really it does not feel like it from outside it feels like it we have Angolo on the bench and and available even playing in the last match we had Thiago Silva and of course it's uh, it is Thiago Silva and it is Angolo but they came with one, they they joined the group with one training session this is a little bit the problem that is it's we have a good squad with a fantastic mentality and still once you're in training you're in the squad and we need a bit more of a fight, you know. We need a bit more of a fight to to bring out the extra edge. It's like uh, this is what we're missing. Not in a bad way, not at all. But to to, it's it's not enough to 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 find maybe even our hundred percent. We need to overperform to to catch City, to be on top of Premier League. Uh, we need to overperform, and and to overperform, you need simply everybody that's why um, of course since week we're hoping to get players back so if you have uh, if you have the news like yesterday evening that Andreas is, is again out after we waited so long now for him for injury now he plays so so strong with one of the best players on the pitch and and again he's out it's a it's a bit uh, uh, what is it a knockdown or it's a bit of a setback for, for everybody also mentally because you finally, uh, yeah, you finally have players back, and and it's just like 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 catching a fish. Okay, last question is for car section Paul Wellstone, PLP. Thank you very much, Thomas. Pep Guardiola can often spring a surprise with a with a team selection or formation in in, in the biggest games, and I wonder how much you try to second guess what he might do, or perhaps more how much your able and try to tweak things in the hour between getting the team sheets and the game kicking off to be honest i don't expect uh, nothing special tomorrow because it's a it's a it's a league game it's not a knockout game they they are comfortable ahead so i think they will like um, try to be the best version of themselves and i expect no 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 tactical no no nothing new just just the best of city and it's uh, enough to deal with fair enough good luck <laughs> thanks okay that's the end of the broadcast section we're now going to move on to the daily newspapers if you've got a question please raise your hand and we'll come around to you